All right, welcome to the genitourinary system video. Um, so these are the, so we got four questions for this video that we're going to try to be able to answer. Uh, what is the glomerulus? What is the filtration unit of the kidneys? What does vasopressin do? And what is the function of renin, angiotensin, and aldosterone? Okay, so uh, the kidneys and homeostasis are really the two overarching concepts that we focus on here. Okay, so uh, the system is composed of the kidneys, ureters, urinary bladder, and urethra. Um, the kidneys filter blood to remove waste products and maintain fluid balance. They also produce urine. Uh, urine is produced by cl the collecting ducts of the kidneys flows into the renal pelvis and then moves into the ureters. The ureters transfers the urine to the urinary bladder where it is stored until it is released by the body through, through the urethra. Okay, so that's just a little intro and then we'll focus in here first on the kidneys. <clears throat> so the functional unit of the kidney, the nephron, is where blood filtration and reabsorption occur. The kidneys receive blood from the renal arteries, which carry blood directly from the heart via the abdominal aorta. These arteries branch and feed into the glomerulus. Okay, so that will be our first big concept uh, that uh, has a question that we focused on it also. The glomerulus is a network of capillaries that contain pores and makes it highly permeable to certain ions like sodium and potassium. Bowman's capsule found at the end of the nephron surrounds the glomerulus and together they make up the renal corpuscle which is the filtration unit of the kidney. Okay so let's go back here for a sec and all it really asks is just what is the glomer glomerulus. Okay and Hopefully what we got out of the answer, what I uh, was saying there is that it's a network of capillaries that contain pores and makes it highly permeable to certain ions like sodium and potassium. If we know that, that's enough. And then the filtration unit of the kidneys. Bowman's capsule which surrounds the glomerulus, makes up the renal corpuscle, which is the filtration unit of the kidney. Bowman's capsule is found at the end of the nephron. Okay. The presence of certain solutes in the urine can indicate certain issues. Uh, so here's a couple of examples. Uh, glucose in the urine is a sign of diabetes. Dark urine is a sign of dehydration. Blood in the urine could indicate damage to the urinary the urinary tract. Uh, looks like I went forward a little too fast there. Uh, the renal corpuscle is the filtration unit of the kidney. The blood enters the renal corpuscle through the afferent arterial, is filtered through a network of capillaries, which is the glomerulus and exits through the efferent arterial. Okay, now we get onto homeostasis. Okay, so we'll go through a few of these here. Uh, renin increases secretion of vasopressin and aldosterone and results in increased blood pressure. Okay, so again, that's a big one, that renin results in increased blood pressure. Renin activates angiotensin and increases secretion of ADH and aldosterone. Angiotensin, which as we just said is activated by renin, also increases blood pressure. Blood pressure. Vasopressin prevents fluid loss to maintain blood volume by increasing reabsorption of water from renal tubules. Vasopressin results in increased blood volume. Vasopressin, which is also uh, called ADH, acts to increase water reabsorption. ADH is released from the pituitary gland in response to decreased 
blood volume or increased blood concentration. The role of ADH is to regulate fluid balance in the body. ADH is responsible for urine concentration. Only ADH is responsible for urine concentration because it is the only one directly acting on the collecting duct. And then finally we have aldosterone, which increases the reabsorption of sodium from the renal tubules, causing more water to be reabsorbed via osmosis. The trigger for aldosterone is both decreased blood pressure and increased potassium levels. So I think we have a vasopressin question. <clears throat> Do we not? There it is. What does vasopressin do, right? And so your main thought there is prevents fluid loss to maintain blood volume. Uh, and then finally, renin, angiotensin, and aldosterone function to increase blood pressure by inducing either vasoconstriction or the reabsorption of sodium at the distal convoluted tubule. So while that was a lot of big words, uh, the nature of it, what we wanted to hear was renin, angiotensin, and aldosterone function to increase blood pressure. I believe that has a question with it as well. There we go, the very last one. What is the function of renin, angiotensin, and aldosterone? Their function is to increase blood pressure. Okay, so there's our video hopefully after listening to that uh, you can answer these four questions if not go back through the video again and you'll be able to find the answer